Let's take a look at our fifth example. Solved by substitution. And let's refresh our memory on the steps. Solving a system of equations by substitution. Step one, solve one of the equations for one of the variables. Substitute this into the other equation. Solve for the variable. And then substitute this answer back into the equation from step um, step one. Well, let's take a look at these. plus 3y equals 13 and then we have y is equal to 5x minus 2 step 1 solve one of the equations for one of the variables well this one's actually already done this one's already solved for y um, but you would pick any any equation doesn't matter which one you use and you solve, solve for one of the variables. You could solve for y, you could solve for x. It doesn't matter. Step two, substitute this into the other equation. So on our other equation here, since y is equal to this, we're going to replace the y over here with the 5x minus 2. So we're going to have 4x plus 3 times 5x minus 2 equals 13. Then I say solve for the variable. After we do that, notice we just have x's left. And this is a linear equation at this point. Uh, get rid of parentheses. So we're going to take the 3 times a 5x gives us 15x. 3 times negative 2 gives us negative 6. Come on, to get like terms. Uh, like terms, same variable, the same power. 4x plus 15x is 19x. There's no fractions. Uh, next step in solving linear equations is get everything with an x on one side, numbers on the other side. So I'm going to take the negative 6, move it to the right side, becomes a positive 6. When you take anything across your equals, your sign changes. Our note uh, top for linear equations says that any step combined together numbers, 13 plus 6 is 19. And the last step for linear equations is divide both sides by the number in front of your x. So we're going to divide both sides by 19. And we get x equals 1. I guess that was step 3 right there. Um, solve. What was step 3? Solve for the variable. Then step 4. Substitute this answer back into the equation from step 1. Well, back in step one, we solved this for one of the variables. Uh, I know this was already solved for it, but in theory we did. Um, so we're going to plug it back into y is equal to 5x minus 2. When I say uh, plug that back in, we just said x is equal to 1. So we're going to put 1 in for the, for the x. So we've got y is equal to 5 times 1 minus 2. Or y is equal to 5 minus 2, or y is equal to 3. Usually this is written in point form, so this would be 1, 3 is our answer. We put our x and our y in there. And let's see which one this matches. 1, 3 would be C. Now we go through and verify that. C. Let's 